Hey guys, it's Rally here and welcome to episode 36 of Let's FIFA 17. Now we sold on Gabriel Jesus a couple of episodes ago because we're completing some squad building challenges and also I sold him on when he was still going for 20,000 coins. Now I was thinking of buying him back but his price is going down now and uh, it's going to keep going down until it eventually settles at some certain price. So instead of buying him and losing coins, I decided, you know what? Let's pick up something different. So I bought Conductbia and like I said, of course, th that makes the squad a little bit less creative because it's basically a Serie A defense and French midfield and attack. But I still think it's a pretty strong squad. It gives me the opportunity to try out like I said, a card which I would like to get. I've seen some comments about me completing or uh, encouraging me to completing the squad building challenge to get him because we completed 13 out of the 20 teams you need to complete in order to get his special card. But those teams I, I need to complete are like a lot of the expensive silver players and uh, I'd rather maybe try and and win division one and get my coins in then sell then sell on some maybe my expensive players get that like a set card and then build one strong squad i can use uh, maybe in foot champions in the long run anyways on to the first match of this episode i went up one nil but my opponent would get back into the game and thus we went into the second half where perisic actually got onto the pitch and he would score right away now the reason why i got him on is because i Bought, like I said, but I didn't check his fitness. It was really low as I went into the match. So I had to get him off the pitch at half time, such that I had somebody with stamina to run uh, for the second half. So Perisic got onto the pitch, and uh, yeah, from the last episode, he did score goals for me. Did the same here and caused trouble for my opponent, but my opponent at the same time also breaking forward. It was very much going from end to end here in the second half, uh, sort of. Uh, goals that would determine whether I would secure the win and make it 3-1, get that two-goal lead, or if my opponent would get back into the match. So uh, yeah, both of us looking for that next goal of the match. And as they're going back and forth, but luckily my opponent's shots were not the best. They go wide up, be saved by my goalkeeper. And then in the 69th minute, Marshall with some nice skill moves into the box and he would seal the deal. Make it 3-1, give me that two-goal lead. And uh, yeah, we're looking for one more goal here in the final stage. Just using the face up dribble a little bit not something i use too often but uh, might be something to consider a little bit uh, it can be useful in situations and uh, yeah we win the first match of the episode 3-1 getting three more points on a sort of division progress it is still not looking too good because we drew our first match and then lost the next one in the division but at least we have two wins in a row now so hopefully that is the beginning of a bit of a winning streak so uh, yeah i decided to continue with the squad apply some fitness to lack a set there such that we can play him for a full match and really test him out and thus would we'll jump into the next match i got messed up against the opponent i'm pretty sure it was danish he had the danish national kit he had a a, a, a batch from lundby which is a team in the Danish league, so I'm pretty certain he was Danish. Rocking with a 4 1 2 1 2 La Liga squad, he got Ben Yetta in, uh, which I believe is upgraded by now, and he got some very, very good stats on him. The five star weak foot as well. But we start the match off uh, with a little shot there from Ben Arthur. We get a corner, and it was like I said, again using the face of dribble here, going a little bit back and forth, laying it off to Gulam, into Koulibaly, onto Ben Arthur, but the shot not exactly the best. Into the second half we go. I was still looking to, to break the deadlock, get the goal, and uh, we get a shot in there. And once again, Ben Arthur's attempt was say 54th minute again on the ball uh, passing around here in the midfield before we find a bit of space through ball on to Tuliso and uh, yeah as you can see I've started to get these driven shots down scored a couple of them in this episode and we make it 1-0 and apart from that there was not too many chances uh, for the rest of the half but here in the 90th minute we break forward hold up play a little bit be a bit patient Marshall on the ball here play forward to Costa and a nice shot there to uh, make it 2-0 and thus secure the win and give us three more points in the division. So now, after five matches, we're sitting on 10 points, and if we replicate that form for our next five matches, we will not get the title, but we will promote. So at least, considering we didn't start out the most ideal way, we turned it around and got a, a better form going. Three wins in a row, uh, making me a little bit confident, and I decided to switch to the Perisic squad for my next match. And now, I did touch on this in the last episode, that the midfield... I felt was a little bit too attacking and uh, I decided to give the squad another go in this episode but in the next episode you will see me changing it up a little bit refining the squad 
such that the midfield is a little bit better at coping with counter attacks. Anyways, my opponent for the final match of this episode was rocking with sort of an Argentinian slash Serie A kind of thing, a little bit of La Liga as well, a little bit of a hybrid, but I believe Miranda didn't have full chemistry in the defense. Anyways, uh, my opponent starting off with a huge chance there, but luckily it did not go into the back of the net, and instead it was us to send the main man through a parasite there. He was not going to get caught. The shot across goal was going to go into the back of the net, and thus we went up 1-0 but my opponent getting back into the match from some terrible defending for me in truth I left a huge gap in my defense easy for my opponent to get back into the match and uh, thus we were even and I was pushing on to try and get back into the passage here playing off to Panega but he just just didn't have the pace to sort of get to the ball in time and get a proper shot in that could beat the goalkeeper and instead it was my opponent to go into the lead there and uh, he has sort of crushed my hopes of uh, continuing my winning streak but I do get a goal back for Lieber Anderson on through there and you would actually get the ball yet again in the 85th minute but he had no more stamina so I, I, I decided to cut inside try and take my time here and find some space Perisic to beat the defender and I just believed in his shot so I tried for the shot across goal it got saved and as I tried to play back it didn't work out and thus we would draw the match however at this stage the draw is not too bad because we have four games remaining if we happen to win two of them and draw one we will get the promotion and of course if we win three of them and draw one we'll get the title so um and now we can actually use the draw if we happen to get one because it will sort of give us that extra point we need and then we just need to pick up a couple of wins. So uh, this is going to be where we end off this episode. As we start out the next one, we will see if we can clinch promotion. And as I said, we'll also make a few adjustments to the Parasite squad. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much all. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.